Okay, yes, Penuri, tell me. Oh, madam, actually, I wanted to ask, uh, uh, madam, that um, those uh, questions given in the third uh, assignment, okay. so are we, uh, do we get uh, those questions for like, exams as well, like to like... Yes, uh, I, uh, still, I, uh, still, I didn't uh, complete, I mean, uh, with, the, with your paper, but um, yes, I'm planning to give those kind of questions as well. So there are 67 okay. participants, but only uh, 22 only have uh, submitted those ones. So um, only 22 have submitted. Yes, these kind of uh, quantitative variables ones, yes. Given okay. these kind of uh, ones to the exam as well. Okay, madam. Um, so madam, we also have a, like a practical exam, yes, right? Yes, practical exam, yes. You have okay. to do with your Minitab software and then uh, finally provide, you should provide um, the, you know, the Minitab report as well. So are you preferred to do a, I mean, written paper or else the Minitab one? Uh, actually, madam, I, I think it's better to like ask everyone because I think. Yeah, yes. Uh, we'll wait for another few minutes and then get started. I'll bring my charger center.
did we discuss about the sampling distributions? Can someone uh, check and let me know? This is the number two. Probability completed, notations, examples, that one is completed. And lesson number three, we discussed about the random variables, discrete random variables and all. And for the lesson number four, we discussed uh, sampling distribution and fourth summary. Did we completed this one? Yes, statistics and parameters, we did the sampling distributions as well. And then uh, if others have any questions, you can ask. So ask me if you have any questions. This one also completed. Today we have to do hypothesis testing and all. Lesson four and uh, yes, lesson six. Okay, others seems like no other questions. Okay, so let's start now. Now it's almost um, 3.13. So let's start the entire. So today we are going to talk about what? Today we are going to talk about confidence intervals. So for this con confidence interval, up to now, we have already discussed uh, so many things um, regarding the probability. So uh, for the after, so today we are going to talk about the confidence interval. So you need this confidence intervals knowledge to run a hypothesis testing and get the final decisions. That's what we want uh, from this entire lecture series. Actually, so this will be kind of an, uh, this will be, so why we do, why we, why we follow uh, this lesson, this uh, course module, it would be helpful for your researchers as well. If someone do any quantitative research, then these techniques will help you to do your entire analysis. That's why we do this uh, kind of, this kind of, uh, actually this kind of a uh, lecture series. So today we are going to talk with um, confidence interval. So, so far, we learned how to collect and summarize data, lesson one. Then we learned how to quantify the likelihood of events using probability, that is lesson two. And next, we learned how to model these events as random variables, that is lesson three. 
and then we covered up the sampling distributions of sample statistics in lesson 4 so now we are moving to the lesson number 5 that is about confidence intervals so here introduction to inferences so why we do these inferences what 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 is inference What do you think? For these inferences, actually, the real power of statistic comes from applying the concepts of probability to situations where you have data, but not necessarily the whole population. So the results called statistical inferences. Why, why we use this one? Because So to give you the probability statements about the population of interest based on that set of data. So types of statistical in inferences. So for here, what will happen? There are two types of statistical inferences. One would be the estimations and the other one is the statistical tests. So for this estimation, what will happen? In this estimations, what we do normally, we just use information from the sample to estimate or let's assume that we just wanted to predict something or to predict the parameter of interest. For instance, using the results of a poll about the president's current approval rating to estimate or predict his or her his or her true current approval rating nationwide. So for the statistical tests, that would be the next test. So for that one is use information from the sample to determine whether a certain statement about the parameter of interest is true. true. So statistical tests are also referred to as hypothesis tests. So we have to cover up these two. So first one is the estimation and the second one is the statistical tests. For instance, suppose a news station claims that the president's current approval rating is more than 75. We just wanted to determine whether the statement is supported by the poll data. For that kind of uh, situations, we just use these statistical tests. Okay. Is it clear the difference of the estimation and also the statistical tests? statistical tests estimation So what will happen? Estimation and the confidence interval. May estimation confidence interval So for this estimation, two common estimation methods are point and interval estimations. Api estimations kattam, there are two types of estimations. One is point estimation or else we call them as point estimates and the other one is interval estimates. Ekak tiyanava point estimates keela, anitheka tiyanava interval estimates keela. Haridha, etha kota me point estimates so hi, interval estimates hoi atra diyanava vena samukata. Me vachanem mahitwo togolonta uh, click uh, click pay kela kya ne olu atayai for the point estimates what will happen an estimate for a parameter that is one numerical value api point eka kela kya ne single value eka ne eh na ne single value eka gatta hama hari the api point eka kela kya ne exactly single value eka eh na ne single value eka gatta hama mukda venne me single value eka kate hima na tam me ekka single numerical data eka kate ekka single numerical value eka kate api parameters estimate karna wana an e wagi estimation sir tapi kya no point estimates kya api consider karna ekka value eka for example let's assume for the sample mean point estimate an example of a point estimate is the sample mean or the sample proportion. Mukakari sample like a proportion like a emanatan sample mean like a kama ekai tien, a point again. But for the interval, interval kila kiwa metanapodi gap ekakti, no para se akti, no. See, 
So for the interval estimates, what will happen? These interval estimates give an interval as the estimate for a parameter. This is a new concept, which is the focus of this lesson. So such intervals are built around point estimates, which is why understanding point estimates is important to understanding interval estimates. May apikata karana interval estimates kela kiya neva gatta eva build benne point estimates seka vata mukakar eka value weka vata tamai may apikata karana interval estimates so tapi defined karane have I when a second at the end a point estimates or eka single value weka tamai api represent karane but for this interval estimates ara api katha karana for example sample mean neka kiyala hitanna ko e sample mean neka ta api eka value eka nevai provide karane we give kind of an acceptable uh, range api mona hari enna puluwang possibilities values kiyala api podi range eka akma denawa menna me athara value eka thamai enne okay likewise so that is the difference that's the difference among these point estimates as well as the interval estimates. In this course, the interval estimates we find are referred to as confidence interval. Api me kata karana interval estimates or the tamai, api me unit take the kiyane mona kiela the confidence interval leka kiela. Okay. That is it. Is it clear? So for this one, what will happen? So, confidence interval, an interval of values computed from sample data that is likely to cover the true parameter of interest. There are many estimators for population parameters. For example, if we want to know the center of a distribution, why use the mean? Could we use the median? How about using the middle value? Unno oyavage questions will to answers then na tamai api me confidence interval like a use karan. So for this kind of one, we choose particular estimators for various reasons with information based on their sampling distributions. Here are some properties of good estimators. Api then kata karan meanawa me api kata apita tiana. Uh, good estimators. Estimators well, at the end of goodness, like again, like a car, the monovage properties, the api. Sampling distribution for the estimate is the same as that of the population. When this property is true, the estimate is said to be unbiased. So the most often used measure of the center is the mean. Api gudak pelavata use karana measure ekatamai mean nega. Gudak pelavata, the center of the sampling distribution for the estimate is the same as that of the population. Api population negadat use karana ekamatamai. When this property is true, it can sample like a a uh, mean neka sample like a mean neka population like a mean neka to samana. Okay, so when this property is true, the estimate is said to be unbiased. Mehema velava kapi kiyanava me estimate teka unbiased. Kisima biasness seka neha kiyala. The most often used measure of the center is the mean. So the estimate has the smallest standard error when compared to other in the normal distribution, the mean and median are essentially the same. However, the standard error of the median is about 1.25 times that of the standard error of the mean. We know the standard error of the mean is this amount. Therefore, in a normal distribution, the standard error or the median is about 1.25 times this one. May properties decker. It's a matakatia ganda my kiela own in a hem, Ogolanta than at an ikang oluata da gana. Up it a first property a can kiani hamatisema unbiasedness seker. So for the second property a can kiani, just the estimate has the smallest standard error compared to other estimators. Up a katagarana anit estimators were to vada may up a um. 
මේ එස්ටිමේටර්ස් ගත්තාම ගුඩ් එස්ටිමේටර්ස් ගත්තාම මොකද වෙන්නේ අපිට පුළුවන් ඒ කියන්නේ error එක අඩු වෙන විදිහට තමයි අපි ගොඩක් වෙලාවට මේ estimates ඔක්කොම calculate කරන්නේ එතකොට මෙතන දීලා තියෙනවා අපිට කරන්න ඕන එහෙම නැත්නම් අදාළ proportions එහෙම නැත්නම් අපි කියන්නේ අදාළ equations හැම එකකටම sample proportion එකකට නම් මේ equation එක ඊට පස්සේ ස්ටෑන්ඩර්ඩ් එරර් එක කරනවා නම් ස්ටෑන්ඩර්ඩ් එරර් එක කැල්කියුලේට් කරනවා නම් මේ ඉක්වේෂන් එක and also අපි ස්ටෑන්ඩර්ඩ් එරර් එක කැල්කියුලේට් කරනවා නම් සාම්පල් මීන් එක සාම්පල් මීන් එක එහෙනම් අපි යූස් කරන්නේ මෙන්න මේක ඕකේ සෝ ඒ වගේම තමයි අපි ඉක්වේෂන්ස් විදිහට යූස් කරන්නේ දැන් අපිට අද ලෙසන් එකේදී අපි කතා කරන්න ඕනේ ජෙනරල් ෆෝමැට් ඔෆ් අ කන්ෆිඩන්ස් ඉන්ටර්වල් නේ confidence intervals gana thamai dana tapi katha karanna monada thiyena issues monada me wenakan thiyena ewa mona hari prashna thiyenada Any questions up to this point? Okay, so I'll move forward for the general format of a confidence interval. Then I'll talk about the confidence interval. So, I'll talk about the confidence interval. So, I'll talk about the confidence interval. So, I'll talk about the confidence interval. In putting the two properties above together, the center of our interval is should be the point estimate for the parameter parameter of interest with the estimated standard error of the point estimate we can include a measure of confidence to our estimate by formatting a forming a margin of error ogolanta danaganna tiyenne me confidence interval ekak kiyala kiwwahama simply mama kiyanawa nan general form eka wenne confidence interval ekaka sample statistic plus or minus margin of the error idea එක හොඳට ඔළුවට ගන්න අපි මොකක් හරි කියනවා නම් sample mean එක වෙන්න 20යි කියලා අපි ඒක වෙන්න පුළුවන් period එකක් පහ يعني plus or minus 5 කියලා වගේ අගයක් දෙනවා දැන් උදාහරණයක් විදිහට මම ඕගොල්ලන්ට දුන්නොත් මෙතන කියනවා මගේ sample mean එක අපි ගමුකෝ මොනවාද ඒකට කියන්නේ For example, මෙන්න මේ example එක ගත්තොත් ඒකේ කියලා තියෙනවා this you may have readily seen whenever you have heard or read a sample survey result uh, in such surveys you may hear reference to the 44% of those surveyed approved of the difference reaction the survey had a 3.5 margin o error ඒ කියන්නේ අපිට වැලියු එක ඇවිල්ලා තියෙන්නේ 44%. හැබැයි මේකට තියෙනවා ප්ලස් ඔ මයිනස් මොනවද 3.5 එරර් එක. ඒ කියන්නේ ඇත්තටම කියනවා නම් මේක ඉන් බිට්වීන් 40.4 and also it in between 47.5. Is it clear? මේ 44 කියලා කියන එක තියෙන්නේ 46.5 47.5යි අතර. එතකොට මේ 3.5 කියලා කියන්නේ error එක තව කෙනෙක්ට වෙන sample එකකින් value එකක් ගනිද්දී ඒ කෙනෙක්ට එන්න පුළුවන් 42යි කියලා. තව එක කෙනෙක්ට එන්න පුළුවන් 46යි කියලා. කොහොම හරි මේ mean එක කොහොම හරි මේ value එක මෙන්න මේ range එක අතර තියෙන්න ඕන. Is it clear the confidence interval? Kela ki ne ki mukak the bhen ne ki ala. Can someone provide me any kind of a feedback? Is it clear? Okay. So then what will happen? So the margin of error will consist of two pieces. one is the standard error of the sample statistic the other is some multiplier 
m of this standard error based on how confident we want to be in our estimates. So this multiplier will come from the same distribution as the sampling distribution of the point estimate. For example, as we will see with the sample proportion, this multiplier will come from the standard normal distribution. Good luck, Pilar. Topic of the standard normal distribution is going to be the same. එහෙනම් අපි කොහොමද මේ margin of error එක calculate කරන්නේ මොකක් හරි m කියලා value එකක් තියෙනවා ඒ value එක අපි multiply කරනවා standard error එකේ හරිද මේ m කියලා කියන එක depend වෙනවා අපි consider කරන්න යන confidence interval එකත් එක්ක දැන් අපි interpret කරන්න ගත්තොත් කොහොමද confidence interval එක interpret කරන්නේ so the interpretation of a confidence interval has the basic template of we are some level of percent confident and the may wording again tamai api hamatissema confidence interval again tiyana ekak words will in explain karanne in simply english komada api interpret karanne if we say like 95% that means we are 95 percent 95 of percent confidence that the mean is in between 20 to 40 he then next kill him mix bar kill him got any mean value we got nothing at the high now it can be say how to lie at the end of the blue one for confidence a copy can on a mama can on 95 percent here that the population of interest is from lower bound to upper bound our monk at our group lower bound a killer can if इंटरवल लेके पौड़ी पैते थी याना वैल्यू वेग का अपर बाउंड के लेके याने लोक वैल्यू वेग का ओके सो द फ्रेजेस इन सिंगल कोट्स आर रिप्लेस्ड विद द स्पेसिफिक लैंग्वेज ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम वी विल डिस्कस मोर अबाउट द इंटरप्रेटेशन ऑफ अ कॉन्फिडेंस इंटरवल आफ्टर वी प्रोवाइड अ फ्यू मो so we can put a note take up the you know and we'll move to the inference for the population proportion okay so earlier in the lesson we talked about two types of estimations one is point estimate and the other one is the interval estimate so let's now apply them to a estimate a population proportion from sample data then up here the proportion like a cutter proportion like a cutter we make up like a no no a method de kama tamai mean ne kata tapi te apply kala and the thiru. How did the, so point estimate for the population proportion, the point estimate of the population proportion P is, api kiya na ae kata P hat. Point estimate of the population proportion P hat is equals to number of successors in the sample of size N. Api kiya ne hari, hari values, number of successors in the sample of size n, himanang api kohumada maker defined karane from our previous lesson on sampling distributions, we know the sampling distributions of the sample proportion under certain conditions. So we can use this information to construct a confidence interval for the population proportion. So confidence interval for the population proportion, recall that if NP, then api kata karod binomial distribution eka gana ogol ento matta kati maam binomial distributions kena kata kara eke hama tisima awasta dekai tibbe eka success eka anit eka failure eka ehe nang e success eka e failure eka e tia pu vela avedi api kohama da binomial distribution eka ka success probability eka balewe n nang number of trials gana e n kela kia neka api vedi kara moka kinda p kia na success probability eke ehe nang api etani inge nama n p kia la kia na value eka eka tamai api mean neka vidhiya ta api calculate kare and for the sigma eke yaane muna dekari kia ni variance eka standard deviation neka variance eka tatte me standard deviation neka gattot eka mata mata ka vidhiya ta api gatte moka kela da n into 1 minus p k. Okay. So that is what we called. So n into 1 minus p are greater than 5. Then p hat is approximately normal with mean. 
අපි ගත්තොත් ආ මේක ඇත්තටම කියනවා නම් බයිනෝමියල් ඩිස්ට්‍රිබියුෂන් එකකටත් නෙවෙයි මේක ජෙනරල් නෝමල් ඩිස්ට්‍රිබියුෂන් එකකට අදාළ වැලියස් සෝ නෝමල් ඩිස්ට්‍රිබියුෂන් එකක p කියලා කියලා මොකක් හරි ප්‍රොපෝෂන් එකක් තියෙනවා නම් අපි කියන්නේ පොපියුලේෂන් ප්‍රොපෝෂන් එකක් තියෙනවා නම් අපි කන්සිඩර් කරන සැම්පල් එකේ සයිස් එක n නම් if the multi if if these values if the values of these two මෙන්න මේ කියන values දෙකේ අගයන් np කියලා කියන එකයි n 1 minus p කියලා කියන එකේ අගයන් දෙක හැමතිස්සෙම greater than 5 නම් අපි කියනවා then the p hat is approximately normal with mean so the p standard error is a p square root එක තමයි එකෙන් ගන්නේ p 1 minus p divided by n under these conditions the sampling distribution of the sample proportion p hat is approximately normal menna me situations okkoma consider karanawa nan anna eka anuwa gattoth api kiyanawa p hat kiyala kiyana eka approximately normal kiyala so the multiplier used in the confidence interval will come from the standard normal distributions okay that is what we called the entire confidence interval hari the so that's about it and then api kohomada mekata construct karanne me confidence interval eka ehemath nattam api kohomada me confidence interval eka interpret karanne kiyala baluwot constructing a confidence interval for the population proportion api kohomada population proportion ehekata meka confidence interval eka Uh, construct karane to construct a confidence interval we are going to use the following three steps isalama we have to check the condition api isalama siddha wenawa condition ekak check karan api kohomada e condition ekak check karanne so check all conditions before using the sampling distribution of the sample proportion so devani condition ekak Uh, number 2 the second step would be we pre we previously used np and n into 1 minus p but p is not known if the value p if the p value is not known then therefore for the confidence interval api to use karanna wenawa api hoya gatta np kiyala kiyana multiplication ekak np hat me kiyala kiyanne metana p walin kiyanne exact population proportion ekak but p hat කියලා කිව්වහම මෙතන තියෙන්නේ estimate එක. අපි sample එකෙන් read කරගන්න value එක. okay then np is greater than 5. එහෙම නැත්නම් n into 1 minus p is greater than 5 කියලා කියන එක තමයි අපි හැමතිස්සෙම values විදිහට ගන්න. is it clear? so මේකෙන් අපිට පුළුවන් check කරගන්න හරි එහෙම නැත්නම් අපිට construct කරනවා නම් අපි confidence interval එක කොහොමද construct කරන්නේ කියලා and what can one do if the conditions are not satisfied හදිසියෙන් මත අපිට මේ condition satisfy කරගන්න බැරි වුණොත් එහෙනම් අපි මොකද්ද කරන්නේ කියලාත් අපිට ප්‍රශ්නයක් තියෙනවා for a confidence interval for a proportion there is a technique called extract method මේක ඔයගොල්ලෝ නිකන් දැනගන්න තිබ්බාම ඇති මේ වහන්න exam එකට These methods can be used if the software offers it. अभी तो software को offer करना ना अंगित रहे, मैंने मैं tools अभी तो use कराना पुलवा। यह मन अत्तंग अभी तो ये tools, ये techniques use कराना बे। So गुलो दैन टा मत कती आगा ना मैं extract method के लिए काफी है ना वाह एक एंग अभी तो पुलवा। What can uh, one do if the conditions are not uh, satisfied? अभी तो मैं method देखा use कर ला। ඒ කන්ඩිෂන්ස් වලින් කියවෙන ඒ අවොයිඩ් කළා අපිට පුළුවන් අදාළ වෙන කැල්කියුලේෂන්ස් යූස් කළා අපිට මේ චෙක් කරන එක කරන්න එහෙම නැත්නම් ඉන්ටර්ප්‍රිට් කරන්න පුළුවන් කන්ෆිඩන්ස් ඉන්ටර්වල් එක ඕකේ දැට් ඉස් ඉට් සෝ කන්ස්ට්‍රක්ට් ද ජෙනරල් ෆෝම් අපි ජෙනරල් ෆෝම් එක කන්ස්ට්‍රක්ට් කරොත් අපේ p hat කියලා කියන එක තමයි අපි හොයා ගන්න පොපියුලේෂන් ප්‍රොපෝෂන් එක අපි මේ population proportion එක කියලා කියන්නේ population proportion එක කියලා කියන්නේ p but අපි sample එකෙන් but අපි sample එකෙන් calculate කරලා ගන්නවා නම් අපි sample එකෙන් calculate කරලා ගන්නවා නම් p hat කියලා කියන එක a එන එකට අපි දෙනවා අර error එක plus or minus margin value එකක් දෙනවා ඒ margin value එක තමයි අපි read කරන්නේ z alpha by 2 මේ population proportion එකක නම් 
into 1 minus p divided by n. May entire square root take a value vicar. Api may z when a method up to hog and a value vicking mukad the karane multiply karna. Ugolunta may kissi they are manually karana and a hemi cost module a kiddie. May cost mod give me one. So then what will happen for this? When a may wage may value we can read karane ka ogolonta may value we can read karane ka ogolonta mukut calculations karana de akne kelima karana tiene may a table like a kintamai a value we can read karana tiene. Okay. So then a pi population proportion like a cutter. Confidence interval like a defined karana and confidence interval like a defined karana logic ke ka mukakta venne p hat kela ki ane sample proportion ne ka make it a plus so minus api kata karana error eka. Are the error eka api kata karana and kumada kata karana p hat 1 minus p hat divided by n kela me entire value vike square root eka. Minna make in tamai api uh, population proportion nekata adalava, population proportion nekata adalava, mokak gun neither confidence interval like a gun. Okay, so maybe the hutter a bit of puluang mean nekata define karana mokak the confidence interval like a. Then with an prashna of theanani, where z alpha by 2 represents a z value with a uh, alpha over 2 area. Kela kela. Then a king kia vene mukak the apigatot sampur name. If we move forward, so what are the steps to find out these ones? So, first, general notes about the confidence interval. So the plus or minus in the formula above means plus or minus. It is, uh, it is a shorthand way of writing. So this will be the uh, long term, long uh, expression. And it is centered at the point estimate that it, which is P hat. The width of the interval is dis determined by the margin of error. And you must determine the multiplier as well. So for this interpretation, interpret the confidence interval. How can we interpret the confidence interval? That is applying the template from earlier in the lesson. We can say we are one minus alpha 100% confident that the population proportion is in between make it a values dala hitwood min may range atule. Uh, adala proportion neka adala population proportion neka tn probability eka ehema nattam tn puluwan uh, probability eka api interpret karana nan anna eka apita kiyanna puluwan 95% confidence interval kiyala etagoda metana me 1 minus alpha kiyala ena value ekama thamai api kiyanne 1 api kiyanne mokak kiyala da 95% kiyala okay so making up it a pull one on now tiny in alpha value with a gun. Okay. Is it clear up to this point? So methana di mokakta vene. May derivations on in a ogolonta ogolonta table like in read karana tibbanang ati mama table like in read karana kak example like a keyword. Okay. Hi. Then methi in how to find the multiplier using the standard normal distribution then first na yakti pane athana api ara z alpha divided by 2 kela kiyana value eka kohomada api read karanne kiyala anna eka api read karanne kohomada z alpha is the z value having a tail area of a 2 it's right with some calculations one can use the standard normal um, cumulative probability table to find the value so, for example, finding Z A, find using the standard normal table, 
කොහොමද අපි මෙහෙම වැලියු එකක් තිබ්බොත් මේ වැලියු එක රීඩ් කරන්න ඕකේ සෝ ගිව් මී 1 මිනිට් ආල් ගෙට් ද ටේබල් ඇන්ඩ් ෂෝ යු හවු ටු ඩූ ඉට් ස්ටොක් ෂෙයා and then i'll go to this point and is it there okay so this is the mona uh, devadi kiyanne is a table ek standard uh, normal distribution ekata dala is a table ek meka if you can read the logs then this will be very easy so api hituwoth metana note ekey kiyanne mokakda so api to read karanna kiyala kiyanawa find using the standard normal table is it 0.15 ehena is it 0.15 kiyala kiyanne actually probability ya api kiyanawa is it kiyala kiyana eka wedi wenna one is it 0.15 walta wada meka ehena equal wenawa api value eka read karo 0.15 this implies that probability of z distribution is less than no equal to 0.05 the value from the table is i just wanted to show you how to read the value how to read the value is actually then balanna ogolanta hoyanna tiyenne z 0.15 ne enange z 0.15 kiyala kiyanne මේ තියෙන එක මේ අපි රීඩ් කරන්නේ z වැලියුස් z 0.14 නේතනින් කියන්නේ එහෙනම් z 0.14 කියලා කියන වැලියු එක කොහොමද අපි ලියන්නේ z 0.14 0.5557 let's check whether the answer is correct no 0.15 no. 0.15 so all right okay so for here what will happen it says actually so generally what will happen here so let's assume that we just wanted to calculate is it 0.15 that means probability of is it greater than this amount of value menna me apita deela thiyena value ekata wada wedi tika thamai api check karanna ehena metana thiyena value ekata thamai api read karaganna meka meka hari vidihata gattot nattatama kiyenawa nan जीरो 
make a equal when on a 0.15 volt to make greater than value we can not the n a at the time I can have a non probability of is it less than no equal look at the method at the end is it 0.15 kill a can a car some on a win no name been do I the some are type of the water in a making here when a table value we come up of the way me been do I know me making here when a table value with a table is 1.04 how would we read that one see 1.04 means actually a bit of make a tool at the end of value we can come I have a probability speed current a a probability is well a bin do I the summer a type of high bin do I attack you lucky on a 1.04 kill a key on it okay this is the exact value in on appear at the lay up it in a value wicker a yuppie how much is similar less than kill again because he like career than a connect the prashna yaak kati venna pulu anne probability of poppy less than kya la kiya ne kya hai gatte kya la bindu ada samat type a kya la hai ya pi ek gatte balan me andala te na graph faking minna me left panel le kenta mai me ke hamati sima color kar la di me tiye na value vikar oda hamati sima adu ti ka tamai color kar la di he na api a format te kata api te kampaya karan no ne ka hada gaan no ne okay अभी ले कंपेयर करना नॉन के लिए किएने का हदा गान नॉन है ना एक हदा गाने दी तमाई एक हदा गाने दी तमाई अभी टे इसे के लिए किएने का एन लेस दैन नो इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट एट फाइव के लिए किएना एक का एक याने में ना प्रोबेबिलिटी वैल्यू वे कभी इधर स्मार्ट टाइप आर डा डू एन नॉन है एन that's how we gonna calculate that one any questions ek read karna vidhiya theruna ada khata hari mona hari prashna yak tiyena ada try karana balanna read karana is it 0.08 and is it 0.02 values The answer is also given here. So I hope you can check by yourself. So what will happen for this Z0.04, then Z0.08, you will get the value as 1.40. And for the Z0.02, you will get 2.05. Okay. So just check on these ones and uh, try to uh do the uh try to get the values of these ones so commonly used alpha levels normally we are using 90 percent and 95 percent and 98 percent and also 99 percent these are kind of few uh values which we are generally using api meva tamai generally use karani good after lavata मुको कोटे द मेन वैल्यूज में तमाई गुड़ा कलाउट आपे चेक कराने कि नेक्टर माता के इंगुना आप में का यूज़ कराना पुला 95 परसेंट के लिए क्या ने 1.95 गान 95 परसेंट क्या 1.96 में का गाना हादा दी हादा दी तेरे ने उगलों डे में वो मैन्युअली कैलकुलेट कराना दे आपने फ्रॉम द टूल इट्सेल्फ so, एक हो आगा न विधिया थारी में ईसी को हम देखा पी हो आगा ने को हम देखा पी हो आगा ने so here if we have one minus alpha into hundred so let's assume we are given like eighty percent confidence interval के ला है ना अभी किया ने मुकाक द में तो ना तीन ना one minus alpha के ला किया ना value वे का एक दें मना दे परसेंटेज जी का फिर ये रण देने है ना एक परसेंटेज जी का इंतजार ना अभी हंड्रेड बल्लीम बैडी करना वा इधर कोड वन माइनस अल्फा इनटू हंड्रेड के लके ने के इक्वल बन नोने एटी है ना वन माइनस अल्फा के लके ने को गुलों टेक गातो तेना वा जीरो पॉइंट एट के ला इधर कोड अल्फा के लके ने को गुल 
ओके नरगिन दशमस्थान वर्ट अरगिन वन मैनस आलफा समान पुलवाम बिंदु अरगिन आलफा वाल्यूल बिंदु दिखाई पुलवाम वीडियो Uh, model uh, paper as well because this would be the very first because this would be the very first मना देखा देखिए यानी module लेके ने अभी करना so एक निशा मम model paper एक कुछ दिन तमाही हितांगी ने may may weekend के मम upload करना so that you can go through with those ones ये वाले मम paper का तमाही exam में बेटा दें okay that's about it okay so then what will happen approval ratings so that's all about the that's all about actually with this mona uh, devata kiyanne confidence interval so here you may have a kind of few uh, example questions as well so how we going to calculate this one kela you have the entire uh, steps how we going to calculate this ones okay so for these kind of examples uh, so for these ones what will happen so what we do if we just input all the data to the um, now the mini tab then uh, if we run a confidence interval test or else let's assume we just wanted to check with the uh, regression or something ehema nang e unath mokada wenne kisi prashna ekne api eka apply karapu gama apita me confidence interval ekai values ekko okkoma ran wenna okay that's about it any questions up to this point okay so here we have the mini tab uh, here we have the mini tab mona uh, devata can steps to follow in mini tab choose first stat basic statistics and one proportion from the drop down box select summarize uh, data option button if you have the raw data you would use the default drop down mithana okkoma steps kiyala tiyenawa ogolonta sampoorna run karanna tiyena okay so using mini tab approval rating example me example ekak to ogolonta karanna puluwan moka kinda mini tab wali okay if have you installed uh, have all of you installed mini tab so just try to do these examples i have already i have uh, mentioned each and every step from this lecture note itself so that you should uh, or uh, uh, if you follow these instructions then you will be able to uh, uh, i mean uh, you will be able to follow up and get the results very easily hari the any questions for this one then the last part would be so for this one what will happen interpreting the confidence interval how we gonna interpret this confidence interval so api me confidence interval ekak interpret karana anang kohomada api interpret karanne if we repeatedly so let's assume that in the graph below we show 10 replications metana tiyenawa 10 parak karapu for each replication we sample 30 students and ask them whether they are democrats so and compute and 80% confidence interval each time we are lucky in this set of 10 uh, 10 replications and get exactly 8 uh, out of 10 intervals that contain the parameter due to the small number of replications only 10 uh, it is quite possible that we get 9 out of 10 or 7 out of 10 godak velawata 10 inna maya hari yanna puluwan e adala range ekak athule value ekak thiyanna puluwan लार्ज नंबर 
um, true proportion will be very close to 80 percent hey, now true proportion neka come in a probability ka ettara me kiyana wana mara uh, langai 80 percent world that's what we call okay then we have the sample size uh, computation so okay For the sample size computations, okay, let's do like this. So I just wanted to uh, teach you only up to this point. So up to this point, what we know, you know how to calculate the probability, probability theories, and also how to run all the, um, you know, the distributions, binomial distribution, and also, um, you know, they were the name, a normal distribution, and then you know how to do how to run uh, how to do uh, how to do a confidence interval as well so the only remaining part would be only remaining part would be the hypothesis testing part so i'll uh, i'll uh, give you an recording on recording ekak karala hypothesis testing ekak gana togolanta kiyala denna confidence interval ekak gana menna me logic ekak danagatto togolda hondata mathi api mula patang gaddi kiwwa wage lecture ekak mula patang gaddi kiwwa wage me wage theoretically me equations mataga tiya ganna one naha api kohomada practically make a mini tab ekak report ekak aragena meka interpret karanne kiyala danagathama hondata mathi okay so that's about it Okay, then we have the sample size computations of the sample uh, sample size compute karana puluang directly. Um, uh, the we have a confidence interval like a deal at the end of a equation like one and a half may functions over on the karana puluang killer than a got thumb on the domain. So we have the examples as well. Okay. So, Mithana mentioned Kala Tiena, what are the questions about the sample size? Api, I api make a roundup Karan noni, Saha api minimum sample size seka use Karnanang, api minimum sample size seka Hitan noni, Koivage Vela with the Kiela make up a calculate Karan noni. That is it. Okay. So, that's about what we have to cover during this entire lecture series. But not for the, uh, but uh, only remaining part would be the hypothesis testing. So, Mama, then, uh, one lecture ka metanin samphoonning recording eka complete karanang, a lecture ka muna devati kyan name, wind up karanang session eka, habai, ogolonta mama upload karanang uh, questions and the model paper as well as the practical uh, tutorials as well. So please go through with those ones during the study leave so that you may have two weeks. So if you have any questions, you can ask from me. Uh, I'll be there uh, in the department. So you can come to me and just uh, check with me if you have any questions, okay? I'll upload the LMS. Uh, I'll try to upload the... Uh, LMS uh, within today. If not, uh, I'll do it within this weekend. Okay. Any questions about the paper? So the paper will be consist paper ek harima lesi paper ek MCQ questions tiya nawa manada tava MCQ questions tiya nawa and also the paper will be having manada underline api kyan fill in the blanks kela fill in the blanks questions tiya nawa and also Practically, Karana questions to not the probability question and also this kind of a distribution related one binomial distribution, a cobble under distribution, a coma dogolo, uh, hoyagan nikianaka, and also finally we have this kind of a uh, confidence interval and the hypothesis testing one. That's all what you have. Any questions before wrap up the session? Madam, excuse me. Yes. Madam, our assignment. Ah, what is it? Assignment. So now, Eva, Madam, you have to upload it. Madam, assignment. Look, I, you have to upload it. Upload it. No, no. What? Our class activity. Do you have any in class activity? Oh, mama, you have to download it. Upload it. Upload it. Upload it. Because link is there. Assignment. Take it. Give it. Try out. Do it. Download it. Give it. Upload it. Give it. विसी देखा विसी दिन विसी दे दिन ने आह एक शंपुर ने अपलोड कर दिया बोगलो अपलोड करें नेत्र ऐसे मत करें नेत्र 
නෑ මැඩම් අපි කලේ නැහැ හරි එහෙනම් මම කරන්නම් මම ලින්ක් එක ආයි රීඇක්ටිවේට් කරන්නම් ඔගොල්ලෝ දෙන්නම් මම 1 වීක් එහෙම නැත්නම් මම කම්ප්ලීට්ලි දෙන්නම් ඔගොල්ලන්ට එන්ටයි ස්ටඩි ලීව් එකේදීම එන ඩෙඩ්ලයින් එක වෙනකන් සබ්මිෂන්ස් කරන්න සෝ යු කැන් ඩූ ඉට් බයි යුවර් සෙල්ෆ් ඇන්ඩ් සබ්මිට් මොන හරි ප්‍රශ්න තියෙනවා නම් ඇවිල්ලා මගෙන් හරි නැත්නම් ඩිපාර්ට්මන්ට් එකේ ඉන්නවා ඉසිරි මිස් ඊ මාශ මිස් ඒ දෙන්නයි අහන්නත් පුළුවන් අනේ හරි තැන්කියු මැඩම් ඕකේ ඕකේ සෝ පේපර් එක හරිම ලේසි මැඩම් yes මැඩම් ඒ අසයින්මන්ට්ස් නම්බර් 2 වෙන් ට්‍රි වලත් ලකුණු එකතු වෙනවද ෆයිනල් රිසල්ට් එකට ඉට්ස් බෙටර් රයිට් ඉට්ස් බෙටර් යස් ඔව් සෝ මැඩම් මේ 20% ඔෆ් 20% විල් ටේක් ෆ්‍රොම් දි අසයින්මන්ට්ස් ඇන්ඩ් 80% ඔන්ලි විල් ටේක් ෆෝ ද ෆයිනල් එන් සෙමෙස්ටර් එක්සෑම් ප්‍රැක්ටිකල් එක්සෑම් එකක් තියෙන්නේ තමයි වඩා හොඳ මැඩම් ඒ කියන්නේ සමහර ඒවට මිනිට ෆන්ක්ෂන්ස් කොහොම ද යූස් කරන්න කියලා තේරෙන්නේ බේස් තියරම් එක එහෙම අර ක්වෙස්චන්ස් වගේ තිබුණා එතකොට ඒවා ඒවා ප්‍රැක්ටිකලි කරන්න මොකද ඒවා මම දීලා තියෙන්නේ ඔයගොල්ලන්ට ඒවා මේ මැනුවලි කරන්න මොකද MCQ ක්වෙස්චන්ස් සම්බ වෙනවනේ ඔයගොල්ලන්ට පේපර් එකට සෝ MCQ වලට එච්චර කැල්කියුලේෂන්ස් බලන්න නැහැ MCQ වලට තියරිටිකල් ටාස්ක්ස් තමයි බලන්න සෝ ෆෝ ද ප්‍රැක්ටිකල් වන් මේ කරලා තියෙන ක්වෙස්චන්ස් වලින් තුනක් තමයි බලන්න මම ඔයගොල්ලන්ට পেපර් එක හදලා අප්ලෝඩ් කරන්න සෝ එතකොට ඒකේ ෆෝමැට් එකත් තමයි එක්සෑම් পেපර් එකක් දෙන්නේ ඕකේ මැඩම් ඕකේ සෝ අදර දැන් දැට් එනි අදර් ක්වෙස්චන්ස් ඕකේ දැන් ඉෆ් යු හැව් එනි ක්වෙස්චන්ස් ජස්ට් කොන්ටැක්ට් මී කොන්ටැක්ට් මී ඉන් ද සෙන්ස් ආ විල් බී ඉන් ද ඩිපාර්ට්මන්ට් so just uh, uh, come to me and uh, uh, if you have any questions just ask from me so with uh, during this weekend uh, i'll upload the entire sessions uh, to the lms so please um, active on lms hamathissema lms eka check karanna monada upload karala thiyenne monada deela thiyenne etukoda ewayin puluwang ogolonta calculations ogolonta okkoma details tika danaga okay okay then uh, thank you so much for joining uh, hope uh, so there are like uh, 67 students so hope you all will uh, do the entire exam as well the uh, last exam as well so this will be really easy uh, yes just study well and if you have any questions just contact me or isri miss or else uh, imasha miss okay thank you so much for joining uh good luck for the exams as well thank you madam thank you madam thank you madam